Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may be watching. This is Christine at Christina's Crocheting, and today is Worked Up Wednesday. It's in the evening, and I have my phone on a tripod, and so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to be moving around, so, all right. The first thing I wanted to show you was this blanket that I have done. I made it for Boggy Creek Camp, and it is for next year, because they're done for this year, but this is um, using Loops and Threads Impeccable, and it's a four weight, and the color is Stillness Ombre. And I used an eye hook. I used, and I did the flower bud stitch. I don't know if you can see that or not. And it is a Bago Day. Um, I got it from her, one of her stitches that she's done a tutorial on. And so I'll note that below. And I used five and a half skeins and each skein is 192 yards for each skein. So I used five and a half for this, but I think it turned out great. And I used some um, yarn that uh, had been my mom's that she hadn't used. So I thought this, anyway, I like it. I, I'm not uh, really an earthy tone colors, but um, I really like the way that this looks. So, all right, so that's that. And the next thing that I have to show, it is a hat and scarf set. I'm starting on next year. So for the hat, I'm using a We Love Yarn. It is an Aran weight, it is from Hobby. And it is, color 11, but you don't care about that. Um, I used the Bago Day Easy Blue Beanie pattern for it. And then I added, of course, the front and back post with the color of the scarf. So here is the hat. And for the scarf, I used, I love this yarn. It's called Old Glory. Used a J hook, and this is just a double, it's just double crochet. Just double crochet, but it turned out nice. And then, of course, to go with the hat. So we've got a matching hat and scarf set. And like I said, I've, I've done a few um, the last couple of months, and so definitely starting a new bag for, um, donations for next year. And then I just, uh, I've had to take my dad to a couple of doctor's appointments. And so I was working on this. It's just a washcloth with Lily sugar and cream. I used well, probably two thirds of a ball. And this is in the color squishy twists. I used an H hook. And I did the stitch. It is the single crochet ribbed cluster stitch from Bago Day. And I will note that below. But this is that one that's got the really nice, um, it is ribbed. You can definitely tell. Nice texture for a washcloth. All right. And then I have a couple of things that I'm going to use for Clara Mary. Try and get her in a good spot. So, um, for this first item, I used, did I write down how many I used? I don't know if I did or not. Oh, I thought I had done that. Of course, now I'm all blah, blah, blah. Okay. One of these might have it on there. I don't know. Okay, all right, one, two, three, four. 
I used four and a half skeins of um, medium blueberry, and this is baby hugs, <clears throat> 247 yards for each of these. And then um, you'll see what it is in just a minute. But for um, a trim, I guess you would call it, I used this, and this is so pretty. And this is Unforgettable Waves by Red Heart. And this is in the colorway Lake House. I thought this was really pretty. It's 119 yards, and I used almost two full ones for this. And I was gonna say, it says it's a four weight. It actually um, is roving, which is pretty cool. I haven't used roving much, but I really liked it. Okay, so. What I did, and I did two of these, so this is the first one. So this is using four weight. And this is a vest that Crystal had done. And it's really long, I made this one extra long. So it goes, oh, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna tilt you just really quick. It's really long. Um, and I will note the, the tutorial below. It's, um, I wanna say it was a couple years ago, two or three years ago that she had done it. Um, and anyway, it was why I couldn't believe how easy it was. It's uh, three, three panels, the back panel, and then the two sides. And then I just added this as, as part of it, but it's got a little mini collar right there. So this is one and then I actually did another one, did I? And um, for this other one, I used from Hobby Lobby, Baby Bee Sweet Delight Toy Elephant. <laughs> and that is the name of the, that's the color name is Toy Elephant. And um, I did, I used three and a half, I think of these. And I did not weave in my ends or anything on this one um, yet, but I'm going to, it out. Yeah, I didn't weave in any of the ends. <laughs> and this is just the one color, just the gray. And there's that one. Anyway, and these are not for me. These are just, these are ones that I have done for people. Um, Anyway, I really like this. This is a three weight. And I like the three weight definitely better than um, the four weight. Um, that was, although that would be nice for in the winter, you know, it, because I did make it longer. So, yeah. Anyway, those are those. And that's it. This is, I'm running late because um, it's the evening of Wednesday. So y'all probably see it on Thursday, but that's okay. Um, anyway, those are the things that I did in April. Um, actually this one, this one I've had done, I, I had it done for about a month, but I hadn't, um, put the panels together because I'm so funny. I was scared. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I can do this, but it was so easy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I had let it sit there for over a month because I was afraid to, <laughs> to put the panels together. Anyway, yeah, so these are nice. I'll have to make one for myself because I really, it's easy and I really liked it. So that is it. I want, Rusty, come here. pick you up? Are you going to come up? No? Okay. All right. 
All right, I thought maybe he would come up, but he's just been sniffing around. So, anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much um, for watching. I hope that maybe some of these will be an inspiration for you to try, uh, whether it's a stitch or the vest. The vest was super easy. Give that a try. I was, yeah. Anyway, so I'll have all of all of the stitches, the stitch tutorials, and the vest tutorial you know, down below from Bago Day. Um, that's it. All right. Awesome. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.